Man, I swear, in the NBA, sometimes it just seems like the rich get richer. Did the Celtics really win the offseason? What's up, YouTube, and welcome back to the Sixers Break Room. Before we get to the video, don't forget to like the video and, of course, subscribe to the channel. It's free for you. It does a lot for me. It would mean a lot. Help your boy out. Subscribe to the channel. Now, let's talk about the Boston Celtics. I felt watching the NBA Finals that one of the biggest additions that the Celtics needed to make is they needed a real point guard. Now, that's no disrespect to Marcus Smart. Marcus Smart played the role. He did what he needed to do. He had a good year, defensive player of the year. But offensively, from a point guard perspective, he has limitations. I think that that's not an insult. I don't think that's, I'm not blowing anybody's mind when I say that, right? Like, if you know basketball, you watch basketball, I think everybody would be in agreement there. And I just think the Celtics need it and upgrade at the point guard position. That doesn't mean they need to get rid of Marcus Smart. It just means that they need to upgrade the position. And they went out and did that. They got Malcolm Brogdon from the Pacers, and they didn't even give up really anything of consequence to get him, right? Like, I know they got rid of Daniel Tice, but outside of him, they didn't really give up any key rotational guys. They didn't have to give up a lot of draft capital. And they bring in a guy who's like a career 16 and five player who can just play the point guard position, man. Like, listen, I'm not as high on, on Malcolm Brogdon as other people in a sense of, I felt like they were talking about having to trade first rounders and this and that and an arm and a leg to get Malcolm Brogdon. I'm like, yo, he's good. He's a great piece to take a good team and make them great or even a great team and bring them over the top. But I don't see him as the guy that like, he's the difference in like, we're not really sure how we're going to do this year to, oh, now we feel like we're championship contenders. But with the Boston Celtics, they didn't need a guy like that. They just need a point guard who's going to be able to play the position better than Marcus Smart did and move Marcus Smart off the ball a little bit more. I can't believe they got Malcolm Brogdon for what they got him. And that's not all. They also went and got Danilo Gallinari on a two-year deal, right? And Danilo, he's a professional scorer. I don't know if people know what I mean when I say that. What I mean is not like he's the best scorer in the league or even one of the five best scorers in the league, but it just means like he knows how to go get a bucket. He's been able to survive in the league for as long as he has while not being the most athletic wing, because he just knows how to score. He knows how to put the ball in the hoop. He can shoot the three. He can take you down to the block. He can score in the mid post area. He's a good passer. Like he's a professional scorer. So the Celtics brought in a, an upgrade from the one position they needed an upgrade from. They bring in an additional wing who can score the ball when they need somebody to go get a bucket if maybe Tatum or Brown are in foul trouble, or even if they're just having a tough matchup, having an off night. They've added an additional score. And they made both of those moves while not really needing to give up much. You have a team that just won the East, went to the NBA Finals, and they got an upgrade at maybe the most important position in the NBA. And they bring in an additional scorer off the bench who could play the three and the four. I mean, bruh, the Celtics really might have won this offseason. You know, that's if you're in the business of, of claiming winners and losers of the offseason. But like, I can't really think of a team that made such a difference than the Celtics did. What the Hawks did, bringing in Murray, like I think that's a huge upgrade. I think Murray is nice. I think Murray being a, a playing for the San Antonio Spurs and maybe not a lot of people watching them, they, they haven't been getting a lot of hype the past couple years. You know, they've had a couple down years, but I think he's tough as hell. So that's a, that's a huge move as well. But for an NBA Finals runner up to go out and upgrade the point guard position with a guy like Malcolm Brogdon, who's a very good NBA player, and then to add some additional scoring and depth off of the bench in Danilo Gallinari. I mean, I think the Celtics really might have won this offseason and they might be in prime position to be favorites coming out of the East, depending on what goes on with Milwaukee, because they made an upgrade too, getting Joe Ingles. They get Chris Middleton back, but I'm the, t I'm the type of person, if you want to be the champ, you got to beat the champ. And the Celtics are the Eastern Conference champs and they got better. I want to know what you guys think. Do you guys believe that the Boston Celtics won the offseason or do you think that these are just like eh moves, like good moves, but you guys aren't expecting it to make a huge difference? Let me know in the comment section below. If you like the video, don't forget to like the video. Of course, subscribe to the channel. Like I said, it's free. All you guys got to do is click a button. It's very little for you. Does a whole lot for me and I appreciate it. If you want to support beyond that, become a member. That link is in the description below. I will see you guys on the next video. Peace.